honoured to say a revisiting of the Mambo from Bernstein's, Bernstein's Symphonic Dances from his West Side Story, performed by this truly amazing group of young people, the Simon Bolivar Youth Orchestra of Venezuela. And their fantastic 26-year-old conductor, Gustavo Dudamel. In 2007, this orchestra and its young conductor took the UK by storm. Some called it the greatest prom of all time, and audience members were left in tears of joy and astonishment. It was the Simon Bolivar National Youth Orchestra of Venezuela, conducted by Gustavo Dudamel, who at the time was just 26 years old. Unusually, they kicked off the concert with Shostakovich's immense Tenth Symphony, firmly laying down their musical credentials with this titan of the Western classical music canon. Then they headed off to the Americas with a sequence of music by Leonard Bernstein and three Latin American composers, Moncayo, Marquez and Ginastera. They then gave not one, but three encores. And that's when the party really got started, creating one of the most memorable moments in prom's history. Now this prom caused a frenzy of excitement in the UK classical world and there was a flurry of initiatives afterwards hoping to emulate El Sistema, which is the music education programme supporting these extraordinary young Venezuelan musicians. As for Gustavo Dudamel, well, he has gone on to be one of the top conductors in the world. And I'm delighted to say that he can join us now from LA. Hello, Gustavo Dudamel. How are you? Good. How are you? We are all well here. We're very happy to see you. We're going to take you back in time now, all the way to 2007, so that we can relive that amazing prom. It must have been a fantastic night for you. You know, it changed a lot. It's, it's, it's a uh, before and after, we can say, you know, it's this kind of historic moments. Of, of our life as an institution, as a sistema, as an orchestra, the Simon Bolivar Youth Orchestra at that time. And, and for me as a conductor, and it was the moment where, you know, the rocket went up. <laughs> Can you remember what the atmosphere was like before you went on stage for you and for the musicians in the orchestra as well? I think the proms have that you know, unique uh, atmosphere, you know, that is a, is a celebration, you know, it feels like a celebration all the time. And the orchestra, as you see, is an orchestra with a very, very happy spirit. And the connection immediately was, was like, you know, bubbles, you know, I, I, I can feel still, you know, that the beauty of, 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 of that moment. Obviously, you grew up with your orchestra, and now they're no longer a youth orchestra. They are a symphony orchestra, Simon Bolivar Symphony Orchestra. Are there still some people in it now who were there that night? Yes, yes a lot of them. The thing with, with the Simon Bolivar Orchestra is that we grew up together since we were children. So that is why the spirit is so unique, because even if we get our gray hair, you know, you know, our memories, our special moments are coming from, you know, our childhood together. That is why I feel that uh, it's a youth orchestra always. What was it like for you all when you came off stage? How good was the party afterwards? Ooh. <laughs> no, it was, it was, I, I, I remember, you know, first of all, the backstage. It was euphoria, you know. It was like we won, you know, a gold medal, you know, in the Olympic Games, you know, and we were bringing that to our country, you know, as a symbol of possibility. And all of us, we were embracing each other. So we were like, wow, we made it, you know, what a wonderful thing. And then, of course, next day, everything was like an explosion of the history, you know, the beautiful explosion of happiness of people talking about the system and all of that. So it was unique. Oh, well, we can't wait to relive the whole night now. It is so nice to talk to you, Gustavo. Thank you for sharing those memories with us. Thank you very much. Thank you.